So in the last video, we talked about how to include REM and EM type sizes when it came to fonts inside our website. And today we're going to talk about how to actually convert our website into REM and EM because we have a website right now and it's not using REM. We're using fixed measurements, which is pixels. And that is not really considered to be a good thing when it comes to font sizes inside your website. Um, I do want to mention one thing because people in the comments asked me, okay, so we go inside our main.css and at the very top, either inside our root or inside our HTML tag, as you can see, we have both right here. So we have the HTML tag, but we also have a root element up here and we can actually include the uh, default size for our fonts in here if you wanted to in either one of these. Again, we talked about this in the last video, but the point here is that when we go in and we set a default font size and I decide to set it to 62, 0.5%. I'm doing this in order to get 10 pixels as my default font size inside the browser. Because by default, the font size is 16 pixels. And we can actually see this by going inside our browser. Uh, and I will get to show that in a second. But the whole point here is that some people ask me, okay, so we do this in order to get 10 pixels. But why not just do this instead, because now the default font size for the entire website is 10 pixels and we didn't have to calculate in percentage. Isn't this just much easier to do? And people do bring a very good point because yes, you could do this, but you run into a small issue, which is that if I were to go inside my website, so let's say I have my website right here. If I were to go inside my browser settings, so if I go up here and I say I want to go down to settings and inside my settings, you can go into appearance and inside appearance, you can actually see we have a couple of different things when it comes to font sizes. Now users in some cases, maybe elderly people or something might want to have larger sized fonts inside their website. Uh, and they might go in here and have someone you know, scale up the fonts inside the website. So we could, for example, say custom fonts and we go down here. And as you can see, we get a bunch of information and we can actually change the font size right now. It's set to 16 pixels, as you can see, uh, which shows that the default font size inside the browser is 16 pixels. So if a elderly person want to scale up their fonts inside the website and just do this in order to do that, uh, it would not affect your website if you set it to pixels because we're setting it to a fixed amount, which means that no matter what they do in here, it is always going to be 10 pixels because that is what we set using fixed numbers inside our CSS. So by giving it 62.5%, if they were to change the font size from 16 to 20 as the default font size, we're taking 62.5% of 20 instead of 16. So it's very important that when we do this, that we do it using percentages in order to make sure that people can still go inside their browser and change their settings in order to scale the fonts inside the website. And yes, I know there's probably some people sitting there screaming that, oh no, they're gonna ruin our website if they change our fonts, because then everything changes inside the website. But you know, that is just how things are. Some people, they need to have text readable inside the website, maybe because they don't see very well. Uh, so we want to make sure that we don't set this to a fixed amount. So with that, we're gonna take our website, which again, looks like this right now. So if we were to go in here, you can see that this is what we have so far. We have a bunch of things, uh, but everything is set in pixels. So we just need to make sure we convert everything to REM. So again, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have a default font size set to 10 pixels. Cause if you wanna scale 16 down to 10, it is 62.5% of 16. So with that, we can now go through all our CSS just one by one and change the font size. However, we did not talk about line height in the last video. Uh, when it comes to line height, that is also going to be a fixed amount inside our current website. And we want to make sure it is not a fixed amount. So when I scroll down and I find the first font, which is inside the H1 tag, uh, I right now want to have 26 pixels. And what is that in REM? That is very simply, 2.6 REM, because that is what we can convert it to when we set everything to 10 pixels, right? So we do that, but there is also something about line height, and there is actually kind of like a default rule of thumb chart that you can use in order to actually set this uh, to something that is going to fit with this font size. And it is important to mention that this is just a rule of thumb, but essentially what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't use pixels because again, that is a fixed amount. And instead you want to go in and use a unitless amount, which means that we can go in and if we're using section two REM, then we can say that that is 26 
pixels, essentially. Uh, and using the chart here, we can kind of like figure out how do you want this to be. So it says, according to this, if you're using between 24 and 32, then 1.5 roughly is what is going to be good. So we can go in here instead, say 1.5, and that is going to give us a one and a half line height, depending on the size of the font. Again, the chart here is just kind of like a, a rule of thumb, but you can just kind of like take this as a, as a guidance and then just kind of like take it from there. So if we were to go down here, we can actually copy this. So we're just gonna say one and a half down here as well. And again, you can always change this to 1.5, 1.55 or something, depending on how you want it to be inside your website. Again, we also want to make sure we convert to REM. So we're gonna say 2.8 REM. So down here, we want to make sure this is 2.5 REM and we have 1.5 as our line height. So now we have all the headers out of the way. So we can now change the paragraph, which is going to be, uh, in this case, this one is 14 pixels. So we can actually make this 1.4 REM and we can make this 1.75. And the same thing goes for the anchor tag down here. So we can just sort of like convert it to the same thing. So now we just scroll down and you continue your travel throughout your website. So we just continue and I can actually see we have a line height when it comes to our anchor tag down here. Now this particular one, we don't want to touch because this one is actually set to the header size. So this one is not the same thing as using, you know, line heights to make sure that, you know, lines within text is actually appropriately spaced between each other. Uh, this one is actually to make sure that we have some text centered inside our header inside the website. So this has to be the same amount as our header. So this is going to stay as it is. So we're going to continue down until we find something where it says font size. Um, so we go down, we go down. Right now we're not seeing, oh, here's a font size. So this is the footer testimony. This one does have a font size. So we're gonna set this one to 1.5 or 1.6 REM. And the line height is set by default inside our paragraph further up when we started changing things. So we're just gonna keep this for now. And we're gonna continue scrolling down until we find another font size, if there is another font size, because we don't have a lot in here. So we have nothing else in here. So we're just gonna save, and let's actually go and check out the website just to see how it looks like. So we're gonna refresh it, and as you can see so far, everything is good. We're gonna go down, everything is still fine when it comes to line height and everything. Um, so right now, you know, Everything's good. So going back inside our website, we're gonna go inside our index.css file and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna scroll down and make sure whenever we see any sort of font size or line height that we want to make sure we go in and actually take a look at if we need to change these. So right down here, you can see we have a font size set to 96 pixels. This one does of course have to be changed, so REM. And we want to make sure it says 9.6 REM. The line height is also gonna get changed. Now in this case, you can see um, we might have to experiment a little bit with this one. So if I were to go in and say, for example, let's do one just to test it out and then go inside the website and just refresh it to see what it says. So going to the top here, refreshing, you can see that, oh, it got a little bit smaller um, and I might want to increase it just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. 1.1, let's try that out, see how the website looks like. And that is back to where we had it before. And again, we're just gonna go back in here and we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna find the next one here, which is 18. So it's going to be 1.8 REM. And then we want to make sure we also change it down here to 1.75, according to my chart here. So we're to actually go ahead and save this just to check how everything looks like, because I like checking things before I start messing with the entire website. Right now we have everything in here that is going to change. So let's go ahead and refresh it. And it's roughly the same. So everything is fine. Again, you can always change things if you want to, but so far everything is good. So we're just gonna continue scrolling and we have another font size. So 1.8 REM. And we want to make sure if there's a line height, there is right here. So we want to make sure we copy this and paste it in. So just gonna do that. Again, we can always double check and see how this looks like. So this is going to be the button down here. Uh, right now, this should probably not have been changed because just like with the header up here, uh, this is going to be centering the text. That is the whole purpose of this line height down here. So the height and the line height needs to stay the same. And I hope that makes sense <laughs> in order to get this uh, centered. Again, we talked about this in previous videos. Um, so going down, we're gonna scroll down and there's nothing here. So we're just gonna keep scrolling, see if we have any font sizes. Oh, we have one right here. So right now we have a index category P and this one needs to be 2.2 REM and we do not have a line height, so we're just gonna continue. So we have a little bit about the categories down here, we're just gonna continue, nothing else. Font size, oh, we have one right here for a H3, so 2.2 REM. 
And according to the chart here, we have somewhere in between 1.75 and 1.5. In this case, we're just gonna set it to 1.5 and see how this looks like. So if I were to save this, this right now is the category box. So we go back inside the website, go down to the category boxes down here, which are these. If we were to refresh the page, you can see that it, it got a little bit bigger with the line height, but it still looks very good. So we could consider keeping this or if you want to decrease it just a little bit uh, because it is a little bit less than what they recommend for a header inside the website. It does actually recommend that you have a, a 24 for a header this small. Um, but again, like I said, whenever you find guides like this online, it is just kind of like a rule of thumb and you, and you need to think for yourself sometimes so in this case here i think this is perfectly fine we don't have to reduce the line height between these so i think this is perfectly okay um so we're going to go back inside our css and we're going to scroll down i'm just going to see if we can find the next spot down here so right now we also have a font size down here with an anchor tag so 1.8 and we want to make sure this is rem we do also have a line height, but we don't want to change it because this is also for censoring the text because as you can see, we have a height set to this anchor tag, uh, which means that this is going to be a block element that has a height with you know some text censored inside of it. And we want to make sure that it is getting censored. So it has to be the same line height as the height of this box here. So we can actually scroll down, find the next spot. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to save this file, go back inside our website, refresh it, and then you can see everything kind of looks like the exact same thing like we had before. Uh, but the difference is, is that now people can actually go inside and if they want to change the font size, let's actually go ahead and try and do that. Uh, if I were to go inside my settings, then let's say I you know, have trouble reading things inside this website here. Uh, I can go inside to customize fonts. I can size things up a little bit. So let's say I want to have it at 30. If I go back inside the website, you can see everything is scaled because I'm you know, struggling to see things. Um, and again, it is also important to note here that yes, it will go in and do a little bit to your website. Um, but this is to make sure that the user can actually read things inside your website. Now, there is also the small argument of, you know, making sure that some things like other pieces of content inside your website actually fits with the font size. So if I scale up the font, I might want to make sure that these boxes here scale accordingly. And the same thing goes for the button down here. As you can see right now, the text is actually getting so big that it starts to you know, really take up a lot of space inside these buttons here. So it is important to note here that if you want to, you can also go in and resize these different containers using REM if you want to. Uh, that is not something that is considered to be a bad thing. You can always do that if you want to, uh, if it goes in and actually makes the website a little bit more user-friendly when it comes to your design. Just to give an example here, since I know some people might want to see this, uh, if I were to go inside and find my index dash category dash box, right now I can see I set it to 200 pixels time, times 200 pixels. Uh, we did change the font size inside the website, so it's 10 pixels, right? So if we wanna to get to 200 pixels, we can just go in and say we want to scale this into, first of all, REM. And then we just simply go in and set this one to 20 REM, cause you have to multiply by 10 in order to figure out what the pixel size would be. So 20 REM times 10 is going to be 200 pixels. Uh, so doing this and then going back inside the website. So let's go ahead and actually save this. You can now see when I refresh it that it is going to scale accordingly. So resizing content like this is also a very good idea when it comes to websites. So if we were to go in and scale it back down to 16, you'll actually notice that it is going to scale accordingly back inside the website. Now, like I said, we're not really gonna go in and scale up everything inside this website here, but I just want you to be aware that whenever you make a website in the future, whenever you think you're done with your website, go inside the browser, scale up the default font size, Go back inside your website and see, okay, does anything look really weird? You know, when things scale up, of course things are gonna look weird, but does anything break in terms of like text inside boxes? You know, do we need to scale the box using REM as well in order for this to work properly? So just make sure that when you go in, test that out and then check if a certain box, like for example, these categories here, do they need to scale up accordingly? So with all of this, this is how you can take a website that you've been building and actually scale it using REM. Now you would probably be using REM when you start out the website, right? You wouldn't do like we've done in this course so far and start using pixels and then convert everything to REM. You would just start using REM from the beginning. Like that would be the right thing to do. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.